Local funeral attendees may be at risk for COVID-19. Oosberg man sentenced for double homicide. Sheboygan City facilities now closed to the public. These and other local stories are coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service WSCS-TV, news content provided by WHBL. I'm Maddie Fister, and this is Community News Review for Thursday, March 19th, 2020. The Sheboygan County Division of Public Health is advising those who attended funerals according to Sukon Funeral Homes on March 5th or March 7th to monitor themselves for symptoms of COVID-19 illness until March 21st. Starlene Grossman, health officer for the Sheboygan County Division of Public Health, said in a release on Wednesday that at least one attendee to the services has tested positive for the COVID-19 virus. She stressed that the risk of exposure was low, but a proactive response is being taken by notifying the community in an attempt to control the spread of the virus as best as it can be. Grossman said that at this time, testing for COVID-19 is limited and routine testing won't be done on those who have no symptoms. If symptoms do occur, you are encouraged to contact the Division of Public Health to see if you qualify for testing. The city of Sheboygan has closed city facilities to the public. That, according to city administrator Daryl Hofflin, is a short-term policy to help mitigate the possible spread of the COVID-19 virus in hopes of avoiding more serious emergency. Ex exceptions are election-related activities and public appointments with city staff. The status of the closure will be evaluated on a weekly basis or until conditions allow for reopening. Essential services will continue, such as fire and police services, garbage and recycling collection, and Shoreline Metro and Metro Connection services will continue subject to change. The City of Sheboygan Village of Kohler Municipal Court has canceled all appearances and pre-trial conferences until May. Mead Public Library has closed and City Public Park buildings, including restrooms, are closed for the next 60 days. If you have rented park facilities, you will receive a refund check in the mail and payments to the city should be via mail or online for now. The next regularly scheduled Common Council meeting is set for Wednesday, April 8th, and the public is being asked to consider viewing the meeting on WSCS, and committee meetings are being reviewed by their chairs for possible cancellation. One department that will remain open is the city clerk's office and city hall in order to accommodate in-person absentee voting that will continue Friday, April 3rd. And additional information is on, available on the city's website at sheboyganwi.gov. A 44-year-old Oosberg man will spend 25 years behind bars and another 10 years on extended supervision for the killings of two men. Judge Rebecca Persick imposed that sentence on Sergio Oka after he was found guilty in a jury trial on two counts of first-degree intentional homicide for the shooting of his cousin, 42-year-old Louis Garcia, and Garcia's best friend, 43-year-old Fernando Laura on July 30th, 2017. Oka received 12, 12 and a half years imprisonment for five year supervision for each count to be served consecutively and the incident was reportedly the accumulation of an argument over a debt of about $200 owed to Oka by Garcia. The closing of schools for COVID-19 has parents scrambling to find daycare for their children and new restrictions and regulations to, will make it that job even harder. Governor Tony Evers has directed the Department of Health Services Secretary designate Andrea Palm to restrict the size of all childcare settings and new regulations now in place require no more than 10 staff present at a time and no more than 50 children present at once. 
the restrictions will remain in effect for the duration of the public health emergency caused by the ongoing coronavirus epidemic. Providers are being asked to prioritize families of health care and essential services providers, using good faith to determine who those families are and those using care who can keep their children at home are being asked to do so. Align Energy is temporarily suspending disconnections for its customers during the ongoing public health emergency. In addition, the utility is also working with partners and organizations to find a way to weave late fees in Wisconsin for those suffering financial hardship. The temporary suspensions were enacted to alleviate customer concerns about continued access to utility services, according to company chairman, president, and CEO, John Larson. He said the company has also donated $100,000 to help nonprofits and assist with rising community needs. For those already behind in payments, Alliant is encouraging them to set up payment plans based on their ability to pay. Absentee ballots for April 7th spring election are a good way to vote while avoiding potential exposure to the coronavirus. But there has been some confusion about getting them. Public Information Officer for the Wisconsin Elections Commission, Reed Magney, says they have received reports of false claims that Wednesday was the last day to request an absentee ballot and that it's not correct. 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday was, however, the deadline to register a voter in order to receive the, that absentee ballot. That applies to postmark mail requests as well as online registration. Starting Thursday the 19th, voters can still register to vote in their municipal clerk's office until the Friday before the election. And at that polling place on election day, the official deadline to request an absentee ballot is April 2nd. And registered voters who want to vote absentee should request a ballot as soon as possible through myvote.wi.gov. Voters can also make an absentee ballot request in writing directly to the county clerk's office, either by regular mail, email, or fax. And finally, even though UW-Green Bay students have been told to return home and stay there for now, plans have been implemented to keep students on track to complete this semester and for graduation to take place on time. Beginning next week, classes at all UW-Green Bay campuses, including Sheboygan, will be taught via alternative delivery methods. Those students who do not have access to computers and the internet will be able to return to campus after spring break. Plans now are to finish the spring semester using alternative class delivery. Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs Michael Alexander said in a news release that students are encouraged to continue their academic path and stay on course this semester. We cannot stress this enough, he added, even though education will look different, it is continuing and that is a good thing. The decisions to continue education in alternative modes will not affect students' ability to graduate or progress in their academics. Students will get credit for completing coursework and degrees can be conferred if all academic requirements are met regardless of whether or not an on-campus ceremony is held. Decisions on May 2020 commencement ceremonies will be made after full impact of COVID-19 is known. And that is our report for today. Join me again on Tuesday for more local news and information on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.